Well, time now. Well, thanks, Monsignor. But time now for another In the Legal <laughs> No with Vincent J. Russo. And Vincent today talking about year-end charitable give giving. And boy, the clock is ticking. Just 11 days left in 2023. That's hard to believe, right? right? Where'd the year go? I know. 11 days. I, I feel like just yesterday we were talking about New Year's resolutions, That's you right. and me. And, so. and I'll be back in January and we'll talk about them do again. That, we'll do that again. Let's <laughs> a see new, what, let's a new see set what, of New Year's resolutions. <laughs> what we succeeded at, too. Uh, that's right. So it's a busy time of year for everybody, uh, but it's also a time to take a pause and think about all the blessings you have and um, charitable giving, you know, how to help other people. Right. And so the tax laws give some incentives. And I was surprised to find out that the IRS issued a news release. I have this news release with me. And so few things surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> I, IRS offers tips for year-end giving. Really? Uh, and so I thought it would be fun for me, yeah, right. <laughs> interesting to others, to talk about some of the tips and, and reminders that the IRS have in this news release. Okay. All right. So let's start with a uh, special... Uh, tax uh, deduction that's uh, incentive that's available for for older individuals. This is this is dealing with IRAs, and so if you are over age seventy uh, and have an IRA, a traditional IRA account, meaning you contributed to it without taking a tax deduction, so you used pre-tax dollars to fund it then you could give up to $100,000 of IRA money to a charity. Now, it has to go directly from the IRA account, the trustee, to the charity. And you avoid paying income tax on that IRA withdrawal. Hmm. So when you are older, you got to take out your IRA money, and it's taxed. Yeah. Now you could take the money, give it to the charity, and not have to pay the income tax on it. Okay. So there's an incentive to do it. Right. So if you're in the 30% tax bracket, you are, you know, and let's say you want to give $1,000, then you're able to give 1000 to the charity instead of 700 because mm. if you took it out, paid the tax, and then gave it to the charity, it would be so much less. Wow. So a nice incentive um, for IRA older owners only this year. Uh, the law is going to lapse at the end of this year. So it's been since 2016, um, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it's a number of years. And so uh, this is the time to take advantage of it. This is it. Wow. Okay. okay. A lot of people probably don't even know that. Yeah. So that, that's great for people who are older, have right. you know, IRAs. What about, you know, there's so many people out there who, who donate. They're donating many things to charity. They're donating household goods. They're donating clothes. You know, what about them? Tax advantages? Uh, yes. Here again, there are tax advantages. And, uh, and why not think about all the stuff we have in our house, our clothing, our household furnishings, and think about if we're not using them, why not help someone else? So you can get a charitable deduction for gifts of clothing and household items. They have to be in good use condition uh, or better. So that's a rule. And household furnishings would include furniture, electronics, appliances, linen, uh, the key is, though, if you are making a gift of more than $250, you have to get a written acknowledgement from the charity. And on that acknowledgement, date, the amount, and a description of what was given. Hmm. Okay. All right. So great for people now who are thinking about doing this in the next couple of days. And just in the back of everybody's mind, in the next year when you do this, get, the, get that documentation Correct. that you need, right? Correct. Okay. All right. So what about cash? Uh, cash. All right. So cash donations, this is what most people do. Mm -hmm. um, so you write out a check. You want to have that check it's, uh, and keep a record of it. Uh, it's a canceled check. You have, it should be dated in the year you made the gift. And you have to mail that check out or deliver it before the end of the year to be deductible. Credit card statements, because it's another way of documenting your gifts same rule, if it's over $250, you need an acknowledgement in writing from the charity saying you, the gift was X dollars, if it's $250 or more. This is also important because we were just talking with Catholic Charities of Long Island last yes. week about, you know, donations are, are flat or they are down for many nonprofits here on the island, I'm sure everywhere else. So, you know, it's needed. Our That's help right. is needed out there. Okay, 
reminders. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, so, oh, yeah, that, that, that is a good idea. Right, it is so, a time of giving. All right, so there are, there are seven reminders that the IRS gives us in this news release. So I'm going to run through them fairly quickly. Um, one is contributions are deductible in the year made. All right, so uh, I just mentioned it can be a credit card charge, uh, but the key is that um, you don't have to worry about paying it this year. If you charge on your credit card and make a donation in December and you pay the bill in January, you still get the deduction in December. Okay. All right? Uh, two is check that the organizations that you're giving to are eligible. So they have to be charitable organizations. There's a list that the IRS has at irs.gov. It's not complete. It's going to be missing churches and synagogues. Um, so you can always get a 501c confirmation from the charity mm -hmm. on their website. They may have it listed right there, or you can you ask them for something in writing. The third one um, is really important. The only deduction you can get on your tax return is if you itemize your deductions. So everyone has what's called a standard deduction, and if you have deductions that are greater than the standard, that's where you can take advantage of these charitable gifts. So for individuals, the standard deduction is $13,850. And, and so the deductions are charities, mortgage, interest, real estate, taxes, income taxes, subject to the $10,000 limit. So you got to add it all up. So in order to take advantage of these deductions, you have to itemize your deductions on your tax return. So you have to be eligible. Okay. Uh, the next one is we, we've touched on, which is uh, gifts of clothing and household items. But here's a tip. Let's say you want to drop it off at a drop box for the charity, and there's no one there. Mm -hmm. So take a photograph of the items you're giving. So that's a way of documenting what you've given. Uh, and here again, just be reminded, you have to get a receipt if it's over $250. Okay. All right? Uh, let's move on to cars, boats, and airplanes. <laughs> if you, it, 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 this rule changed a number of years ago. If you donate your car, we see those commercials all the time. Yeah. It's not the fair, what you think the fair market value of the car is. The car is going to be sold by the charity, and whatever that sale price is, is the amount of your deduction. Okay. And you got to get it in writing. All right. What about my plane? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you can donate the plane, <laughs> okay. uh, but you got to move quickly if you want to do it this year. Only a couple of days. All right. <laughs> uh, Non-cash contributions, if it's over $500, there's a special form you have to file with the uh, tax return. It's form 8283. And then the last tip that the IRS is giving us is... It's important to keep good records and receipts. So these tips, are they on the IRS website? On the IRS website, IRS news release. Um, so you go to irs.gov backslash newsroom. Okay. All right. And my last uh, point I'd like to share with you is um, Merry Christmas oh, uh, to you. you, to all our viewers. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, it's a privilege for me to be on the show. And, and help your parish, help Catholic yeah. charities. They do such great work. Yeah. Uh, so, um, and, and it's, I'm glad you're here for that. I mean, I'm glad you're here always, but yeah. that is a good reminder. It's not too late, too. You have a few more days um, in, in the new year, in the year before the new year. So, what, 11 days late, we yeah. said. That's it. So, you know, help out. All right. Uh, well, Vinny? Yes. We will see you in the new year. <laughs> That's right. New Year's resolutions are coming. Oh, yay. I love that part. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you.